My name is Satan. Satan. My name is Satan. My name is Satan. Master of the banished ones. Of the disgraced, expelled, and despised. I was cast out of heaven and thrown down to the lowest pit of the world. You gave me until the end of times. So hear this vow, O oh mankind. Till this world and I have time, Satan will not rest easy. Before I am gone, I will trick the sons of Adam with every sin there is. I will deceive them with ignorance. <laughs> Sweetest ignorance. Great idol of this gathering! You are second only to Nimrod himself, you! <laughs> Who are you? Who's there? Oh, oh what you want in this temple? Huh? Huh? No, no. There is no God but Allah. The land of Babylon was under the rule of Nimrod, son of Cush. It was the greatest region of its time. However, the name of this great city was lost in the pages of history, and the city itself was buried under tons of rubble in the 4th century BC. People of the land worshipped many different idols and considered Nimrod the god of all gods. Babylonians, I swear to the god of all gods, Nimrod, that I was dusting a statue of this god when the stick of my duster hit it and brought down an eternal curse on me. Eternal curse. Make way, maybe the craftsman of the gods, the creator of idols, Azar, will be able to unravel this curse upon me. When the stones of the desert are being crafted with the hands of this great guide and Babylon's great priest, dark clouds disappear and the skies of Babylon and Ur radiate with light and shine. <laughs> 
And it's all because it is Azar who is using his tools on the statue of the god of the gods, Nimrod. And that's why he's been blessed, and this land has been <laughs> blessed and honored. I did not make this idol. Oh, base, the idol maker made it. You are a very good poet man. And skilled idol makers will make you a god worthy of the words you speak without any expectations in return. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking at? You're staring at a Nimrod who did not appreciate me. Me! Obese! He admires Azar's idols more than mine. Considers them more precious. Sarah. Tell me what have they done to him? What? What's wrong, Sarah? Abraham did not bow. Who? Azar, the idol creator's nephew. Abraham did not bow down. They took him away, Father. They took him. Those who don't bow down will be punished. Lord, tell me, did you see Abraham? He did not bow down, Azar. My son Abraham, was this compound, this dungeon, this black hole more comfortable than your uncle's house? Why do I have to bow down? For a being that is the same as me, made from flesh and bones. Hush! Stop it, Abraham! Nimrod's followers are furious with the bitter words you speak. A warning. From now on, even my mediation will not be useful at all.
Sir, why did you force my child into carving idols? It was just yesterday you had told me the secret that you had a young son. I made him carve stones just like, just like my own children. How creative. You've carved the stone so beautifully. I wish your father, Terra, were alive and could see how delicate your work is. You're better than my children. Carve, carve. Carve because you're going to succeed me. What have you done? What are you going to use it for? Worship! The stone. You worship the same thing that you make. You're my future successor! Not the height of my disgrace, son. From now on, you won't carve, you'll sell. You'll sell you! You'll present the gods to the people in Babylon's market. That you will do, my boy. I have idols, colorful and polished. Cheap and expensive, they're not harmful or beneficial. Come along, I'm poor, spend a coin, I have idols. I have idols, cheap and expensive. Come along and buy one from me. They're neither harmful nor beneficial, cheap and expensive. Come this way, I come along. clay jars. Come along. This way, this way. Come and buy one from me. They are neither harmful nor beneficial to you. This way, this way. I'm like a father to you, Abraham. I raised you with love, pure love, pure, pure. I told myself you'll grow tall and become a leader and a groundbreaker in the profession of idol manufacturing. Not it's a curse and plague. You'll carve on the soul of this piece of stone. Carve, carve delicately and wisely and carve with joy with your strong hands. Carve these solid stones. I want you to turn them soft and gentle and hollow. Carve them with your hands. Who created these hands? I bought you from Azar at a high price. So I am your power. I am your god. You have to bow down. Bow. If you rule over Babylonians like a god, you can't rule over me. Huh. Bow down. Bow down now! And what's this? The seat of Nimrod the Great. <laughs> this isn't a seat, it's ignorance. Nimrod doesn't thrive on a throne. He thrives on the ignorance of the Babylonians. 
You're intelligent only as long as you know how ignorant Babylonians are. Till the time that these people are drowning in their ignorance, it is entirely possible to reign over them like more than a god. So preserve the ignorance of your subjects. You were finally freed? Hmm. I was imprisoned because of Nimrod's oppression and freed with Azar's intervention. Oh. Aren't you scared that I might be Nimrod's spy? <laughs> Nimrod's spies aren't kind, Sarah. But, but what makes you think that I'm a kind person? Nimrod's followers don't help the needy. You've done wonders, Azar! These hands work miracles. If Nimrod sees you, he'll forget about being a god. Polish it! Go ahead! <laughs> Go ahead, polish it, okay? Lot, what happened? It's been a couple of days that he's gone to the mountains to worship. Worship! 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 Abraham is my nephew, but he is not of me! I'll go to the farm. Maybe he's come back. You and Nimrod's eyes are buck. You would promise to chase Azar from Nimrod's court, not make him his favorite. You'd promise that the great idol made by Azar would never reach the temple. You'd promised to make Nimrod admire my idols. It's hard, Obase. The day you were banished from Nimrod's court, Babylon's rulers gave Azar the title of the creator of the gods. Of course, it's something he doesn't deserve. No, Harpak. Imagine the difficult days you'll have if I tell Nimrod what I've seen. Everything I have seen! Don't you threaten me, Obase. If I have to, I'll bury you alive so that you won't ever be seen again. I thought of that, too. I've told a reliable person all about your secret. I've told him that if one day Harpak causes my death, he should take the trouble of informing Nimrod about the secret. I will never forget the day we'd gone to the, to the jungle for some rest. I looked through the trees and saw a tall... Fine. Azar's idol won't make its way to Babylon's temple. Now go, Abase. Don't stay here. Very good, Harpak. Very good. Harpak? A base the idol creator will reveal our secret to Nimrod. If I do not get rid of his arch rival. If he does, we'll kill him. 
and Nimrod. Oh God! I've thought about the state of these people. I've realized that all worship nothingness. Believe in nothing. Listen. Shiny masses that rule over us like gods. Oh, stars of the great skies, you own our future. You own our bodies and our wealth, and you own our lands and our world. Receive us, we are your servants now. What are you worshipping? Your presence here upsets us. Get away from here. What objects are you worshipping? Despite the fact that there are no stars brighter than Venus up in the sky. I worship what's more glorious and radiant. What happened to my god, Venus? Why did it fall? Why did it lose its light when the moon appeared? No, I won't worship Venus anymore. Now, the moon's my god, bigger and brighter. What do you want from the servants of the objects? Get away from here. Go away. Go away. <laughs> I am but a servant too. It's set. <laughs> the moon is set. The burning sun becomes the master of its servants. Get away. Get away. Leave the servants of the idols alone. The sun also set, just like the moon and Venus. What kind of god would set? I will worship a god that does not annihilate. My gods aren't objects. God means remaining, not disappearing. He's insulting what on earth is he saying? I can't believe saying. it, he's insulting our gods. What a travesty. I will go after a new god now. They worship the stars. Masses in disguise because of Satan's temptation. <gasps> Listen. I will sacrifice him for the gods so that they do not unleash their wrath upon us. My son broke my god. He was running fast and with great energy when his leg hit the idol and broke it in two pieces. What kind of god is it that it can't defend itself? A child just destroyed it. I don't know if my new god is the broken statue, or is it my son who broke my god? In the end, all your creations will recognize you as the creator. I'm sure you're the creator of life. You're present and observant. Everywhere. Present and observant. Present and observant. Why do you not reveal their ignorance? I know you exist. You exist. You have power. So say something. A sign that you can hear my words. Can you hear my voice? Can you hear my voice?
You see, he didn't answer you, did he? Help me, Abraham. Help me so that I don't help him. It's me, Gabriel. Messenger of God. God has called on you to be his prophet for all mankind. You will teach monotheism to those who reject the divinity of the master of the universe and those who practice polytheism. This is the voice that delivers the greetings of Adam to you, O Abraham, the prophet of God. Higher, higher. That's it. Yes. God help you. I will destroy Nimrod's palace on your head, Tarpunk. Hey. God. The Almighty has chosen me as his messenger for you, O oh, Babylonians. Oh. What is going on in your head? A head full of dreams? Always rebelling? Do you want me to beg? I'll beg. Do you want me to cry? I'll cry. And my peace isn't a toy in your hands, oh prophet! Three days from now... Just three days from now, it's the ceremony of honoring the gods. It's a joyous day. It's a happy one. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Don't ruin it! Don't ruin it! Azar. Do these solid objects that you call idols and gods hear you when you call them? Or do they bring you any benefit? Or cause you any harm? Tell me. We witnessed our fathers worshipping these gods. Even though they're solid and ineffective, we still worship them. We still do. I will worship the god that created and guides me with his kindness. The same God that feeds me with his generosity when I'm hungry. The one that quenches my thirst when I'm thirsty. The one that cures me when I'm sick. The same God that takes my life and then brings me back to life again. The same God that I hope will forgive my sins on the day of judgment. Because he's the compassionate one. I want to be left alone. If you can, leave Babylon. Go. <laughs> <laughs> 